So I want to show today how this Lorex that we see here, Lorex 4K Ultra HD NVR, how that works. This is how it looks like up front. I don't know if we can see the lights in there. Probably not. A button here and a USB. Um, <coughs> I want to discuss the system. That's how it looks like with those cameras in there. And I want to explain how the system works. And let's try and start out with this power supply. So let's take a look at this. This is the 110 volt power supply. We see an output of 53 volts. So that's a different <coughs> from previous ones I saw. So it has more power. It also comes with a mouse, like a simple, easy, cheap mouse that connects either here in the front USB or in the back. Um, there is no display with this. Um, in order to display what this thing can see, you need uh, here the HDMI cable. This is the super thick cable into a monitor. And that's for the display. <coughs> for the display, I can tell you, it can do 1920 by 1080, that kind of resolution, or um, the 4K can do 4K 30, but it cannot do 4K 60. So if you have a screen or a computer gaming monitor, what I have over there, that can only do 4K 60, then you can't display this. So you need a 4K 30 uh, monitor. <coughs> so yeah, it comes. It doesn't come with monitor, right? So that's it. But it comes with this HDMI cable. Uh, then. Like here, the power plug is plugged in. Um, this gray wire here, down here, is the Ethernet to the internet. So it connects to your router at home. And then here will be eight Ethernet cable. Yeah, like this, it comes in those spools. Of, I believe 30 feet. And um, they plug into the camera we have over here, cameras we talk about later. Again, our cameras, um, cameras, and uh, the cameras come with those stickers. You stick on the wall, and then you know where to drill your holes. And then a little booklet that describes the camera, and one booklet that describes the NVR itself. Um, it can do different cameras, so it has eight of those, but you can add other cameras if you wanted to but it does allow only the connection of eight cameras and mm, it comes with eight cameras, so there's no need to buy more. And then the Costco kit also comes with a, with a sensor kit here. And it comes with a hub, a sensor hub, a power supply for the hub, a USB cable to power the hub, and little magnets and contacts, so two of those two of those door contacts, and then one, uh, yeah, motion sensor, one motion sensor. So that kit comes with it, but it doesn't have um, <coughs> too much to do with the NVR, to be honest, because this kit also works, the sensor kit works also works without the NVR. So that is something that works with your cell phone and your home um, network and this thing is like a standalone that is connected to your network and this thing as far as I know is not recording any of those signals not uh, no, I mean I didn't try this yet that is uh, the next step from what I'm seeing it's not uh, doing this and um, yeah there is not more to say to this uh, other than um, this waterproof connection I want to go in detail uh, how to waterproof connect it. Uh, every camera also has a 12 volt uh, power supply input. Um, that is also something uh, that needs to be explained. Uh, <coughs> this um, DVR has a, 
up and Ethernet up in it. Let's see how this here. So here in the back. So you have the, the 50 volt in to power this up. Um, then here you have the Ethernet connection to your home network. Um, this is uh, for a monitor. This also is audio and uh, microphone. It's, I think it's microphone in. I'm not sure what it says there. It's so small. Mic out, microphone out. And what's the other one? Microphone in. No, our, our video out, right? Let me see that. It says mic in. And there it says mic out. So microphone in and microphone out. What is it? That doesn't make sense, right? But oh yeah, that's what it is. And then HDMI here. And there, uh, USB for everything. Like USB, you could put a mouse on there or other devices. If you want to do a backup to USB or copy the data, the video, you can use this front USB or the back USB. It doesn't matter. Mm. Nothing in here needs to be um, waterproof. Here is air intake. There is a board in here and a hard drive here. And so the air will flow through and then it's a fan on this side, a small little fan. So I can show this. A fan like this is here and that blows out the hot air out of the case where the heat mostly is generated by the hard drive. And, that. and then um, those camera connections here. Um, they have to be explained how they get put together. The camera itself is maybe something I can talk about here. All right, so the camera. We have this uh, cable that comes with the cable roll that has, has to be unrolled. And here is the connection uh, to the camera. And there is this uh, waterproof, this thing, okay, that protects this uh, thing here from water intrusion. And that's when you basically put the camera up where you run the wire outside of your house or outside of your wall um, the alternative would be to drill uh, the big hole here in the middle and have the wire go through that hole inside your house and oftentimes that is not possible um, so you have to run the wire a different way like here it comes out of the foot like this here you know like this <clears throat> screw to the wall like that and the wire comes through here and therefore this connection has to be waterproof okay. here for the power supply um, the power for the camera comes over this ethernet cable it's powered over ethernet that's what it's called so it doesn't need this if for some reason you don't have power on your ethernet you would need to power this with an external power supply. That is a, a thing. Each camera has an ID tag on here with its MAC address. And um, yeah, that I probably need to cut off before I install it. Mm, good, so um, this connection here I want to show quick. I need to get my camera here on a tripod. And then look at that so this is a waterproof connection for the, the camera and I have to show you how this works um, so here is the camera connector and um, that's where the corrosion is going to take place here on those metal pieces cold contacts in there and then here we have like a, a bayonet kind of uh, connection so when you go in here it goes with the with the bayonet, right? Like that. But this is only half the tooth. Here, there is a, a ring here, a rubber ring that has to come over here. Can you see that? So now we have a little rubber band here, sealing this off, and then we go in here and 
lock this up the bayonet and now this is waterproof tight so here it's sealed anyway on this side we mold it on so now here we have the rubber seal here to seal that off and now we go on this side right there is this um, rubber piece also this is like a piece of rubber and um, i would um, glue this with some super glue and then to make it waterproof then this rubber goes in here and then it's going to be clamped with this screw on piece like this like this there and then it's supposedly waterproof on this side too I would not count on that. I would use dielectric grease on the contacts and then I also would mount this like in a way that it's upside down like this that no water can drip into this end. But so this is supposedly working well. Let's see. Now do you have to protect this? Yes, I would say yes. I would hot glue this close what then uh, avoids you or prevents you from using this ever in the future. I don't know how else you would uh, block this. I don't know how to protect this. They, um, there are some surveillance cameras that come with a little uh, plug to plug this. And I could not find one. In the packaging, maybe I oversell it. Not sure. I have to look again. Okay. So now I want to talk more about the camera itself. This is the camera here. Um, this joint here can be moved, and also the plate here. This one can be twisted, as long as this screw is loose. So you can uh, loosen this up and you can do here 90 degree angles. You can also turn the camera around. But I don't know how often you can do this. Uh, how the wire is in here. I mean somehow the wire is in here and you don't want to twist it too often, right? But you can twist this piece here, the foot itself, right? All the way around to wherever you need it. And when you're done uh, adjusting the camera, then you would tighten this one screw and then the camera would be fixed. What I like about this camera is that it has a very flat front surface, meaning mm, spiders are not building a nest right in it. Like some have the sunshade on top, and then I always have spiders building nests there. So let's hope this is much better and this is easier to clean when I wipe it off with a cleaner. There's also a little tiny hole in here. There, that's a microphone. On the bottom are holes for speaker and then there is the bottom plate and you open this up this is a waterproof um, a waterproof area in here where you can insert an sd card so that the camera on its own will be able to record uh, if you have external power on here the NVR dies, the camera can record on an SD card. That is amazing and I don't know exactly how this works. Um, what kind of tools you would need to to look at the footage or when it records or not. That's uh, another thing. The electronics, the AI, the intelligence is inside the camera. Each camera has its own there. And you use the software, the, either your cell phone app or the software on the NVR itself to configure the cameras in uh, different ways. 
so that's how this is gonna look like and um, I'm gonna have to set it up and there will be then separate videos for that how to set this thing up what buttons to push or what you can see or not see and how good it works um, we have the long-term situation how long will this last the whole thing and uh, short term what does it detect or not detect and how does the electronic and the software work and for that i see you in the in the next video about this uh, lorex camera system